As well as stars, galaxies and quasars, Gaia also observes objects in our solar system, measuring their positions and brightnesses at different times. By far the largest group of solar system objects in Gaia's data release 3 are 154,741 asteroids, for which Gaia has determined the orbits. Depending on their orbits, one can distinguish different groups of asteroids. Most of the asteroids are in the main belt, between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Over a period of about 10,000 years, Jupiter's powerful gravity can perturb an asteroid's path so strongly that some of them become Mars crossers. Do you notice another group that is around the distance of Jupiter? They are the so-called Trojans. They are collected in two clusters, preceding and following the giant planet, but never getting close to it. If we move beyond the orbit of Neptune, we find trans-Neptunian objects. Gaia observed the brightest 24 members of this population. Let's now focus again on the internal regions of the solar system. Back in the inner solar system, we find objects that come close to the Earth and sometimes cross its orbit. They were brought to the inner solar system from the main belt due to gravitational perturbations by Jupiter and other planets. Due to close encounters with the terrestrial planets, the orbits of near-Earth asteroids reach large inclinations with respect to the Earth's orbit and can also come very close to the Sun, where they experience strong heating. None of the known near-Earth objects is a danger to Earth in the coming decades, but it is very important to determine their orbits precisely. We now move close to the Earth and observe this group of 446 near-Earth asteroids. Finally, we move into the main belt and see many of the 153,000 220 asteroids passing by.